searching for money, dreams of Bentleys and Ferraris and floors by the biggest ballers. Our bitches want to call us. Picture me with all the cheese matches looking overseas, pushing limousines and stacking hundreds of G's. Dubs on my sports car, six car garages like a mirage. When you step off in my backyard, roll these wine and- Hey, what's up, everybody out there in the kingdom? King JB, back up in this bitch. You know how it goes. Uh, now it's time to do the daily rap from the throne. Basically, those of y'all that know, know I'm going to go over the news over the last 24 hours in the world of MMA. Um, big ups to my sponsors out there. Y'all know who y'all are. Right now, I just happen to be wearing Corilla MMA's t-shirt. Big ups to y'all, man. I appreciate everything that y'all do. NRV Sportswear, Mobsters Fight Gear. MMA Fit Club, MMA Madhouse, all y'all motherfuckers, man. I appreciate everything y'all do, man. Um, anyway, basically, what I'm going to do is go over the last 24 hours worth of news. Y'all should have my prediction videos by now. Hope y'all enjoy them. Y'all agree? Cool. If not, then uh, make your own videos or leave me comments. I don't really care. Either way, let's just keep it moving. All right, now. Um, basically what we got going on is, uh, I don't know if y'all saw the picture, Dan Henderson and Fedor, they've met up. Uh, Fedor is looking a lot smaller, man. Um, definitely. I don't know if I would have done that. Uh, Dan Henderson, this fight with him, one of his big advantages that he has, uh, Fedor, is that he's, he's larger. And I just hope he, hope he realizes that he, he should take advantage of that. Uh, definitely. Um, another, you know, definitely a big fight. I can't wait. Y'all heard my prediction on it. But I'm going to go ahead and move on past that. A lot of Fedor stuff going on. Fedor says that, uh, you know, he doesn't need to change his training. And I, I actually kind of agree. I, I don't see why he would. He had a big, uh, tough time with Antonio Bigfoot Silva. I mean, who isn't going to have a tough time with Bigfoot Silva? Feel what I'm saying? So definitely uh, I, I'm, I'm still a Fedor guy. Pro Elite, um, everybody knows Pro Elite from the Elite XC days. Uh, they're coming back. Not too happy about it because I know that they tried to fix fights. Um, Andre Arlovsky is going to main event their card. I don't think any MMA fighter should 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 deal with this company. Period. And it's because of their reputation. They're trying to fix fights, and and we don't need that in this sport, man. Uh, you know, steroids I look at in kind of a a, a so so way, like. But when it comes to fixing fights, you're, you're borderline. I love the WWE and I love pro wrestling, but I don't want my real fights to be like that. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I'm not really too sure about this Elite XC thing. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to bash him just yet. Uh, Melky uh, uh, Kawa, the guy that uh, is the manager of John Jones, he responded to one of my status messages yesterday in regards to John Jones. So I do want to take this time to say personally, my mind ain't changed. Shit. I still think John Jones is arrogant. I don't like him. I think he was disloyal to Rashad, and I hate Rashad. And I think um, you know, with this championship belt thing, he's being a dick. I think that he was being arrogant when he signed his name as champion before he beat Shoka. I think uh, I think the height, I think personally that, that he's, he, he believes in his own height. And I think that could be very dangerous in this sport. So... Of course, he's fighting my favorite fighter, Rampage, as well. So, personally, I'm not too, uh, hope he gets his face knocked off. Um, uh, keeping it moving, you know, I'm gonna keep going, uh, to the next story. Let me see here. Uh, Sh- uh Sean McCorkle, uh, apparently turned down a fight to fight Tony Lopez, uh, because Sean McCorkle wants to pad his record, uh, to get back into the UFC. I don't know how true or not true this is. Uh, if that's the case, Sean McCorkle being from here. First of all, I respect Sean, and I, and I got nothing but love for him. But this is MMA, man. It's a sport. Uh, the only way you're going to get back into the big show is by beating big fighters. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think people like Hector Lombard are not in there? I love Hector to death, but he's not in there because Dana White considers his record padded. Same with Fatal. Uh, padding your record is not a good way to get into the UFC. And if you really think winning two more fights will get you back into the UFC... Mr. McCorkle, you're, you're, you're sadly mistaken. That's not the truth. Uh, I don't know who told you that, but if you really believe that, bro, that all you need is two more fights regardless of who it wins over, I think you really need to uh, get a different manager or something, bro. Seriously. All right, keeping it moving. Uh, you know, we saw all the interviews. Um, also, oh, Jose Aldo, he opens up as a two-to-one favorite over Kenny Florian. 
I do agree with this. I, I, I got nothing but respect for Kenny Florian and his ability, but I think uh, Jose Aldo is going to pretty, pretty easily hand uh, Kenny Florian a loss. Uh, so, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. I guess we'll all find out in due time. But uh, I think Jose Aldo is great, and uh, I think the only person that can compete with him is he is Hasso Hioki. All right, let's see here. Junie Browning. Uh, this is kind of a local yet somewhat uh, big news. Junie Browning is going to sign with the MMA Big Show, who I've been doing a lot of work with myself. Very excited to, to see Junie Browning fight and maybe even call one of his fights, uh, interview him, talk to him. This is going to be great. So big ups to Junie Browning and big ups to the MMA Big Show. I'm looking forward to this shit. Uh, good job, Hoover, and everybody over there getting that done. That's uh, definitely a good one. Um, but anyway, moving on past that, man. Uh, you know, Junie Browning, obviously, has been gone a while, so that's not going to get everybody hyped. Uh, Dana White has a message to Fedor. Uh, he said, dude, you're just fighting a 185-pounder. Uh, basically, I feel what he's saying. I understand. This is a lose-lose for Fedor, and I agree with him. If he wins, he just knocked out a middleweight. If he loses, he lost to a middleweight. So hopefully Fedor you know, does what it takes to be successful here, and it, and it looks good. We'll find out in the end. Let's see. What else we got on the news docket? Uh... K1 sold to Japanese real estate firm, uh, Barbizon, or B Barbizon. Uh, you know, a lot of people know about the K1 troubles. I, I'm very curious to see where this goes. We're all, uh, K1, I, I definitely hope it survives this and, and, and lives on. I, I, I'm just now getting into kickboxing myself, thanks to Bloodstain Lane, big ups to BSL, uh, kinda. <laughs> but anyway, I definitely am looking forward to it. So I'm gonna quit giving you shout outs, motherfucker. You just uh, be having everybody think I, I'm just a fan or something. I don't get no shout-outs back, motherfucker. Better get a shout-out. Real shit. All right. Uh, Chris Carioso and Vaughn Lee added to UFC 138. Uh, newcomer Vaughn Lee. I'm not not too big on this Phantomweight fight. Um, definitely, we've got a lot of fights signed recently. Uh, but uh, this one uh, should be all right. I'm not necessarily too excited about it, though. So just wanted to pass that news along to you. Uh, Rashad Evans apparently... Says that he does not like John Jones. I know this is a surprise to all of us, but uh, for some reason that was a headline on MMAfighting.com. Good journalism work, Ariel Helwani. Good, good journalism work. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's keep it moving. Uh, let's see. Oh, Tito Ortiz never considered pulling out of this fight with Rashad after he wrecked his Rolls Royce. Jesus Christ! If I re if I had a Rolls Royce and if I wrecked my Cadillac. Y'all motherfuckers wouldn't see me for a week. I'd be too cry. I'd be crying about the shit. So I can imagine if wrecking a Rolls Royce had to make it bad. Uh, but he didn't even consider pulling out a fight. Once again, as I said in my prediction video, thank you, Tito. You're the shit. Joe Luazon releases his own iPhone app. Uh, my curiosity there is, what the fuck is a Joe Luazon iPhone app? And who would get this app, and what would you do with a Joe Luazon iPhone app? If you guys know, let me know. I'm very curious to see what the fuck that would be. Anderson Silva signed up a sponsorship uh, deal with Burger King. Cool. They, 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 I'm sure that's some money. Anderson De Silva, I'm surprised he already didn't have that sponsorship deal. But uh, it's pretty, uh, you know, any, anything that puts more money in these fighters' pockets, I'm all for uh, all four. So big ups to Burger King, the Whopper, and Anderson Silva. Uh, big ups to Gorilla MMA, by the way, man. I saw your video. Good job, man. I appreciate you giving me a shout out to that video. If y'all haven't seen it, go to my Facebook. Y'all see it. Misha Tate says she's going to try to kill Marlos Conan. I probably wouldn't say that prior to getting in a fight, because then if you somehow hit her in the head and she does die, you're probably going to catch a case. Just saying. Anyway, big ups to that. It's going to be a hell of a fight between them two ladies. Can't wait for it. Let's see. Um, is there any more news? Ariani, Ariani and Celeste with that big-ass banana uh, dick picture. Get the fuck out of here. What are you thinking? Uh, what is with some of you females? It's like you don't mind being a hoe. You just say, hey, I'm a hoe. Look. Get your weight up, man. That's bullshit. All right, keeping it moving. Uh, the business side of successful MMA sponsors. Don't know if you heard about the Ranger Up scenario. Uh, it's one of the, the few MMA sponsors that have success. But as we all know, with the UFC, they have their own sponsors. Um, so 
people like Tim Kennedy and Brian Stan, they're not they're they're going to the the ring basically with no sponsors on their clothes basically because um, they're staying loyal, which I got to commend them for that. I, I stay loyal to your sponsors is definitely a big thing to do. All right, let's see here. I think that's all the news for today. So obviously that's all the news that's going on in the MMA world. Uh, not a whole lot in the last 24 hours, but I haven't posted a video on the news recently, so there you go. Uh, some of the shit's funny news. Some of the shit is serious news. Um, you'll see another video from me tomorrow night. Make sure y'all peep out MMA Affiliates Radio, Stand Up Indiana. It's on in an hour and a half, 10 to 12 at night. I'm out this bitch. King JB, MMA Kingdom. <laughs>